Hey, Vendrick, did you miss me? I don't think he even noticed I was gone. Oh, is this not working? I I should be able to enter Vendrick's memories, like the giants as well. But yeah, you know, I don't. Hmm. Maybe it's like DLC only, or maybe it won't work until I I have to like beat him first. So I guess we will find out. Gotta make this a good one. Gotta nail him right in his stupid face. Ow! He didn't seem to really appreciate that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> He's a little faster than I gave him credit for. Well, good. Off to a great start. I know he's, like, all zombified and is mostly naked, but I guess... Regardless, I shouldn't have underestimated him. <laughs> okay. So I lost my... Hundred plus thousand souls that I had. I don't remember the exact amount, but it was quite a hefty sum. That's okay. It's not like I was planning on using them anyways. Not a big deal. What is a big deal, however, oh, missed that one, is that I give the king here a burnt butt. The ultimate royal dish. Oops. Sort of forgot to roll there. So the Vendrick fight is kind of interesting. Vendrick normally starts out with like 32 times his uh, normal defenses. So you might recall when I initially encountered him, I wailed on him for a little bit. Didn't phase him in the slightest, didn't aggro him. However, oh, oops. Since I collected all those giant souls from, like, the memories and, uh, I think the, the big dragon dropped one, the ancient dragon, uh, each giant soul you pick up... Oh, well, <laughs> it's over. Well, each giant soul you pick up halves his defense, so it, like, cuts it down from, like, 32 to 16, etc., etc., something like that. So I should have all of them in this playthrough, meaning that his health should be normal and it should be just a regular fight. All right, big boy. Let's dance. No? Just the one? Okay. I was gonna say, he's taking these flame swaths like a champ, considering he has no protection for his skin, but then, I mean, if you look at what I'm wearing, I've essentially clad myself in rags. <laughs> anyway, so I guess I'm not too much better than Fendrick here. Look, I know I look like a homeless person or something, but I assure you, uh, I, I promise you that it's they're very good sorcerer clothes. Nothing but the best for this wizard. Probably had a second to heal there, but that's okay. Still got it off. I think I will try and heal again when I have a sec, even if it's just a little bit of health. It seems like with this guy, it's probably gonna make the difference. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure if I just imagined that, but it it seems like uh, <laughs> like the wind from my <laughs> my sorcery is kind of like causing his little loincloth to flutter up a little bit. I'm not I'm not going for any kind of upskirt shot, Vendrick. This is completely on the level. All I'm trying to do is murder you here. Just a good old-fashioned case of one man trying to murder the other. No funny business, I promise. I'm not some kind of weird sex pervert. All right, and praise the sun, which is nowhere to be seen in this incredibly dark room. I think we're like miles underground, but that's okay. And still not letting me jump into his memories. Oh well. Oh yeah, I don't think he gave us like a soul or anything. Alright, well I guess that's it. Yeah, the uh... His memories must be DLC. Alright, well this might end up being a shorter episode than most. I guess it depends on how many attempts I decide to include. Because there have been uh, quite a few. <laughs> But yeah, I think that wraps up pretty much all the optional things I can do now. So now it's like super in game time. So, until next time.